Eh, hello. <laughs> it's me, Bill. Me and the wife, Susan, decided we're going to start trying for a baby. Thought you'd like to know that. Why? Why are you trying for a baby? Well, we kind of got to the stage in life where we feel there's a gap. There's something missing. And you're going to try and fill that with a human life? Yeah, I mean... We thought we'd have a baby, you know? And why are you trying to fill a hole with a human life that will also try and fill a hole with a human life one day and might not succeed and might feel empty and useless and strange and sad and full of despair? Well, we don't think of it like that. We think of it as a gift. Life is a gift, you see. But it also causes cancer. Is that a gift? No, but, you know, you've got to think of all the positives, all the good things in life. Um, what like? Like um, playing football in the park. Is that worth getting cancer? No, but it's good, you know, um, like um, fishing. Or, like, eating apple pie, or, you know, playing dominoes. Are they worth cancer? No, but they're good, isn't it? And all these good things all add up. And they're worth cancer? No, no, I'm not saying that. Well, what are you saying? I'm saying that, you know, we're giving the gift of life. And how are you going to prepare your child for life? How are you going to prepare them for the possibility that they might face terrible harm, suffering, and potential horrible situations that they might not be able to get over? Well, you know, I'm going to do all bad things, like I'm going to um, help teach them to read, and I'm going to play football with them in the park. And that's going to prepare them for getting brain cancer. No, but, you know, it's going to make good memories and it's going to make it worth it. What if they get Alzheimer's and can't remember it? Well, you know, stop being so negative, will you? I mean, they'll go to school. What if they get bullied and then want to commit suicide? Well, that only happens to some people, you know? It only happens to some people. What if your child is one of those people? Hmm, well, let's not ponder on that. Um, you know, they could go to university. And then they could become an alcoholic drug addict. Well, they could. They could. But then they could also do very well. Yes, and then they could start a career that they don't like. Did you know 70% of people do not like the current job? Well, that's true, but I don't want to talk about them, do I? I want to talk about my child. Because my child is going to get shepherded by me, and I'm going to teach it to do things. What do you do in life? Well, that's neither here nor there, but I work for the council. Um, yes. And why do you think you're in an adequate situation to shepherd anybody? Well, because I've seen a lot in my life. Have you ever been abroad? Well, I've been to Spain twice. And, you know, that's it, really. OK. Have you ever had cancer? No, no, not yet. Um, no, I hope I'll never get it, to be honest. OK. So you're willing to gamble with someone else's life and inflict possibility of cancer on them without knowing what it's like to have cancer? Well, yes. Because I think it's worth it. Um, anyway, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go. I've got to go and try and impregnate my wife, if, if you'll excuse me. Thank you.